the expert, Johnny Aiken, joins us. G'day, Johnny. Oh, I mean, this is a highlight for me. <laughs> I mean, I've watched you many times, yes. heard you, but now yeah. I'm actually standing beside you, and yeah. it's... It's getting me choked up. <laughs> oh, we're choked up, aren't we, Brian? Uh, I'm very choked up. <laughs> mm. I'm very. Now, we've got so many questions we've got to ask. But first oh. of all, I need to know this. Who comes up with the matching? Are you the. Is it you and you alone, or is it Alexandra as well? Yeah, and Mel. Well, we and all Mel. get together. And we get a, a, a the cream of the crop comes through to us because it's over 12,000 wow. yeah. a year. So it's a, it's a lot of people wanting to get on. But then you lose them through all sorts of different reasons. You know, uh, might be employment, uh, me uh, medical history, because uh, you can't have diabetes or, or you know, some sort of um, issue with uh, sexually transmitted disease. All this sort of stuff comes into it. And you basically whittle them down to a small, uh, very uh, motivated group. Mm. And that's when Mel, Alessandra and myself, we look at them, we interview them, uh, we test them, and then we put them forward. And then the network decides as well, you know, what does the cast look like? Because you can't have all blonde 25-year-olds. No. No. Or there seems to be a lot of blonde 25-year-olds. They do sneak in. <laughs> I, won't, I won't deny it. I, I, the, the, the audience do, does like a younger viewer. But this year, particularly, we had a couple of older yeah. um, participants. In was there. he South African? Are we talking about Richie? Yeah, yeah, Richie. Richie. Yeah, he was I, in there. I honestly thought that was going to last, yes, that so relationship. Well, they, they started off with a hiss and a roar. A lot of sex, a lot of passion. Yeah. But as we know, it goes a lot deeper than that. Yeah. I was shocked. Sarah and Tim last night. Yeah. I couldn't have had enough on them not working out, Brian. Oh, uh, yeah. Sa Sarah or Sarah? Sarah. S Sarah or Sarah? Yes. Yeah, I, I, um, and I, I like these two, Michael and Stephen. Are they the first two gay couple that no, you had No, we've had on? a couple of gay couples before. Yeah. Um, uh, both men and women. Mm. Uh, and Michael was a bit of a flirt, I noticed. Didn't work out. No. There wasn't the chemistry there, not the passion early. Uh, and I don't think, when you're in the experiment, you've got to be curious. Mm. Like, y y y you match them, you want to see them put aside their, you know, list of criteria and sort of dive in and get to know them. But some of them, uh, they don't do that. They just say, you know what? You're not my type and therefore I'm out. And I think that happened a bit this year. You know what I like, John? I like the SPs. Side porking. I like when they, yeah, like Explain. Ellie, me more. Oh, oh, Ellie and Jonathan, oh, 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 oh. SP. Yeah. I like, yeah. You know, that's a term that I might use next season. Yeah, just bring it up. Just say, um, are you are you, you signing up this just for SP yeah. or are you in this for. Or even at the commitment ceremony. Oh, yeah. Saying, look, rumor has it, there's been some side porking. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. They that's just right. put it straight on it. Yeah. Oh, Would they that. come clean? Uh, so well, speak? typically they don't. I don't know if you've noticed this, no. but they are, they're very bad at saying sorry. Yes. And they're also very bad at coming clean and falling on the sword and saying, yeah, I should do that better. Yes. Yeah. Um, and, you know, with maths, what we have found out is that you, you pretty much watch it to learn what not to do. Yes, that's right. <laughs> that's right. You know, so if you're a single, you say, well, I'm going to avoid that type of person. Yeah. And if you're a, a, in a relationship, you go, well, we can't be like them. Yeah. So do you, John, do you, when you get together, clearly you're trying to pair them up, but you're more confident on some than others. Yeah. Are you surprised by where you landed this year for those who made it? Uh, they always surprise us every year because uh, when you do your testing and you meet them and you get to know them, you watch their audition tapes, uh, you kind of get a good sense. But when the cameras roll is when you actually really see their true selves because you can't keep a mask on no. in the experiment. About two, three weeks in, they'll tell you too, and they've said this to me, they forget about the cameras. Well, okay, what about Collins? Because our... I thought Collins was an actor, a showab. Yeah. Well, he he was very performative in the yes. way he was. But was that how he is normally? And I think that's the way he is. And keep in mind, he's never had a relationship. Mm. Yeah. So but I don't think he really knew what it was. Had he ever like. porked though? Oh, probably. I believe <laughs> he porked, but he hadn't had a relationship. <laughs> yeah. And we know there's a difference. That's the Absolutely. Difference. Yeah. yeah. Well, well you got to ask these questions. Oh, mate, can I can come ask. into the next one? Not, I reckon. Not, I reckon we're talking to a fourth expert here. Oh, yeah. I yes. could do it. Could there be a celebrity one or would that just not work? Yeah, would there be a celebrity? Well, the, the, the problem with that is that it would be hard to go back to normal people after that. You know, you'd have to keep yes. going with the celebrities. Yeah. It's a great show. You know. Uh, when you're out on the town, you're, you're just having a meal with your wife. Do you get people coming up to you looking for advice? Yes, advice. And is it more uh, women than men or it'll be 50-50? Uh, probably more women. But it's not just advice, Fletch. It's actually... Um, 
they give me plenty of uh, home truths and feedback about what on, they on like you? and don't like. Yeah, oh, about the you yourself or the show. Yeah, both, both. But, but, but there's a lot of noise around the show, and so people have stopped me in the street. They've walked over the road to give me a serve. <laughs> have they? they get very wound up by it. But what are they saying to you? It's well, not your well, fault. Someone was, at, was at a cafe the other yeah, day with a mate, and I was chatting away to him, and then this. She would have been 60, mid-60s. She just <laughs> leaned over, interrupted our conversation. She said, John, I've got to tell you, I find you disgusting. Oh, really? Yeah. yeah. Really? Yeah. If Georgie Gard is listening out there, I agree with you, Georgie. Yeah. yeah. Have you ever said something that, like, you've had so many of these interviews and uh, dinner parties, not so much dinner parties, but when you're having the commitment ceremonies and those sorts of yeah. things, um, where you say something yourself and go, oh, I went too hard there, or, oh. I wish yeah, you could well, unsay that. Well, I mean, I, I go, well, because they, they, they film very late at night yes. and you are just, you're seeing everything unfold in front of you. We don't really know that much of what's going on when we head into, say, a commitment ceremony mm. or a dinner party. And so you kind of got to think on your feet. Uh, but that means you're going to say things that, um, you know, you, you haven't planned at all. No. And so what I do is I just, Think about home truths. I've got a short amount of time. I'm going to really hold a mirror up to them and and stop them in their tracks and see if it can land so that they can do it different. So I go harder than, um, you know, probably a few seasons ago. Right. Because their behavior has become more and more outrageous. Have you noticed that? The, the, yeah. the, this is the 10th year now? It's 11 seasons. 11 seasons. So are you noticing there's been a shift in the people's attitudes towards this show or a shift in this a generation of these people that's come onto this show? Because yeah. I find this young bloke, like Jack, I don't think he's Fennigum. I don't think Jack is Fennigum. Do you like the man bun? I, I just don't think there's someone like that in real life. Yeah. Yeah. I think he's making it up. It's, 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 is he making it it's up? It's a good question. No. Uh, ultimately, what you're seeing there is a collection of people that you probably don't run into every now and then. Then, they're, they're, but they're out there, right? And they are real, and that's why people uh, are kind of drawn into it because they're seeing these, they're, they're doing things, saying things. They even look uh, sometimes quite different, mm. and um, they are real, and it's unpredictable, it's mm. unscripted, uh, and I think that's one of the secret sources of the show. Yeah, you kind of scratch your head, thinking, well, "Is that real? <laughs> Did he really just say?" You oh, know, it's a great. Where show. do we get the idea from? Is it is it ours? Is, is no, Australian? No, it came the from format? Denmark. Oh, that'd be a bit loose over there. Yeah, yeah. And, but well, when it first started, it was like a little documentary. Okay. And it we we had uh, four couples. It went for six episodes, so it was a very small show. And then it exploded. They they supersized the nine network supersized the show, and now it's forty episodes. Yeah. And it has twelve couples, so it's a massive show. And you're putting them in the mix. They're living together. They've got the dinner parties, commitment ceremonies. You've got these alliances and these arch rivalries. And it just becomes this sort of melodrama that you're oh, watching. That's awesome. So tell us about your own audition, John. So when this all started, Oof. how did you get introduced to the show? Well, I got a group email back in 2014. Just sent out to a whole lot of psychologists, counsellors, clairvoyants, um, matchmakers. And they put us all in a room. It was a bit like X Factor. And we had a number on our wow. shirt. And they'd call the number up, three mm. of you in the room would go in front of a camera and you pretend to match. And then they'd get rid of you and they'd bring another person on and they'd do that over a month. Uh, once, once a week, you'd do uh, these audition exercises mm. and tasks. And then they landed on, they landed on me uh, with uh, two others. And then we got together and filmed it. But none of us thought that it would be a success. Yeah. We, we, we thought well, it, it would be a one-off there were, there were singing, cooking, dancing, renovation shows at the time, but there were no relationship shows. And so really it was something that people thought, you know, wasn't going wasn't gonna to last. And then it, it hit. So when did your life change it? So were you literally watching the show with everyone else going, how the bloody yeah. hell? Or, did you, or were you quietly confident once you'd had everything no, in the can? No, no, no. I thought it would, wouldn't work. Um, talking heads, relationships. Yeah. It was just not going not gonna to hit. Uh, I knew that it was different. Uh, when my wife brought her girlfriends around, opened the champagne and started yelling at the screen. <laughs> right. And, and I'm like, wow, this is a real reaction. And yeah. then they're yelling at me for what, you know, what we're thinking with these yeah. matches, you know. Uh, and I'm like, oh, that's a pretty extreme response. 
Uh, the other thing I noticed as well, which made me think this we're onto a winner, was that people would start coming in and seeing me in private practice. And I'd say, what's brought you in? And they'd go, well, we tend to have problems like Jack and Tori. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> and so they'd translate their own problems into this maths language. And I'd never heard that in 25 years. Well, are you still practicing? No. No. Is it because of that reason? I was going to ask. Is it because you get a lot of time wasters coming in? or people? Well, I, I think ultimately the show gets too big and then you've got to decide, do I want to go down that path and just sort of fully commit? Yeah. Or do you let it go and, and go back to a quiet private practice, which was, was essentially me? And I really enjoy the show. It's exciting. Yeah. I never know what's coming or every year the cast is different. Has anyone ever offered you outside? It gets a bit heated there on the uh, on the couch. Has anyone said, "Righto, John, cameras are off. Let's go." Well, off. I've had I've had a few moments. Like uh, I remember last year, Harrison. I mean, he, he would come at you, and he he, he was a solid build. You yeah, know? and and so you had to be on your game. He's he's a very charismatic guy, um, but you know you go hard at them, and you're never sure how they're going to come back at you. Uh, this year, I went hard at Jaden. Yeah. He's an MMA fighter, world champion. And, you know, in the back of my mind, I'm thinking, well... <laughs> <laughs> have you got security guards there? Uh, we do have some security yeah. on set. Tell, tell, us, tell me this about the time. You said it's very late at night. Is that done on purpose? The, oh, the I think party? ultimately it's done because uh, we're all um, in this together and the, uh, the walls are down and we're just totally uh, in the moment when it's, when it's late at night. But it's also um, important you're staging an event it's, it doesn't have the same gravitas if you were to have a commitment ceremony of a brunch. Yes, it just, okay. It just yeah. doesn't feel important. Um, whereas at night time, it's like, well, now we're building, here we go. That's a bit like when you go to a league game at night, you know, versus mm. one You've been three. drinking all day. <laughs> Are you allowed to have other, anything other than red wine? I, I only ever see wine, red or white. Uh, is there any? No, tequila? Beers, beers are flowing. Tequila, see. You know what? I haven't thought about the tequila. I haven't seen it there. Because you know tequila seasons. is an upper. It's the only alcohol that's an upper. Every other alcohol you depress it. So Jeez. imagine you can get on get on the tequila. What was that lady, the uh, yeah. cyclone? Oh, who, cyclone Cyril. Oh, Cyril. Yeah. She was the oh, greatest. You go way back, don't you? Oh, I yeah. love, yeah. yeah. yeah no, look, she was throwing wine and stuff. The thing about the show is that you, you they, they certainly drink during the dinner parties, mm. but uh, we have people closely monitor them. Oh, RSA. Be <laughs> Boring. <laughs> well, because because you you know well you wouldn't have done this, but if you're ever interviewed on TV, you can't and, be drunk. and you're off yes, your face. Yes, it's yes, a Very yes. bad look. Is it a bad look? Is it against the rules? Well, you're just dribbling on yourself and falling over, and the eyes are rolling in the back of the head. It's yeah. a bad look. You can't get anything. But out it's of entertaining. Them. Well, don't you reckon? Well, it it can't be too sloppy, Brian. Okay, it's not productive. But no. tequila gets you the other way. I'm just. Yeah, just, I'm yeah. just saying it. Yeah. I haven't thought about How that. How many have kicked on and actually have started families? We've had about, we've had about five successful couples. Out of what? What's the strike rate? Well, I wouldn't say that it's... Uh, <laughs> Is it better than your batting average? <laughs> <laughs> well, my batting average... Uh, well, I had my moments. I had, but I've been inconsistent, though. Yeah. You, you so ever, t tell us about that. So you you actually pretty handy. Oh, well, I was. I was an opening batsman. Played about a decade of first-class cricket over in New Zealand. Wow. Uh, played New Zealand A uh, against some of the touring teams like the West Indies, South Africa, Sri Lanka. So I had some great moments, um, but I tended to get inside my own head. You know, wow. is that well, that's why ironic? You, yeah, is I that know, why you you took this path? Is this why you became? Well, I wanted to be a sports psychologist. Oh, you know, to try and learn ways to get out of my head. And uh, as I started to study, uh, I then realised oh, I really like conflict. Yeah. Mm. and two people going at it, and I thought, oh, I think relationships is going to be for me, and so I just went down that path. Is wow. that draining, a day of doing that? No, I find it very exciting. Do you? Yeah. Yeah, No, and, and, and whereas a lot of my colleagues don't like it, they, they, they say, you know, ha having one person in front of you is more than enough, let alone two. But I, I like uh, the dynamic, the, the way in which you get patterns going. Mm. And then with relationship work, you can get a lot of change in a short period of time just by essentially giving them these little interventions. And so, and I'm kind of practical. And so what it means is it kind of was a good fit for me. Whereas I, you know, long-term individual psychotherapy is not really. What about in your own relationship? Yeah. It, uh, obviously. Do I make mistakes? I said. No, I know, I know. But then how do you, do, like if you and your wife and you were trying to explain to her, she would just go, 
beat it, John. That's exactly <laughs> what you're like. not going to try this math shit on me. <laughs> yeah. Don't you reckon? Well, that, that must be hard. No, we'll, we'll, Do you have to go, if it got to that level, would you have to bring an, an, another doctor in? A third in? party. Yeah. yeah. Well, she said to me when I got married, uh, I want a husband, not a therapist. Yeah, that's what, yeah. So don't bring the psycho babble to the table. Yeah. And she is it hard that. not to uh, for you? No, because she really... She she shuts it down yeah, fast. That's good. She's, look, she's a Kiwi, dairy from a dairy farm. Uh, you know, loves the Chiefs. You know, loves the uh, watching the league. A big Warriors fan. So she's not going to put up with any of that. Okay, she'll so, shut that down. So Johnny, when you're the fan, are you a rooster or what, who who are you when you're the fan? Oh, I, I love the roosters. That's yeah. your number one team. Yeah. Oh, I used to watch this game. Yeah. Don't worry about but that. But are, are you a you? But also, I get up in the mornings early. Uh, I watched the Kangaroos when you were on Kangaroo tours. Wow, you know, I, I love that. But you were born in Australia. Born in Australia, but, but when... spent some time, uh, quite a deal of time over in New Zealand. So, yeah. are you a Kiwi? No, or... Aussie. Aussie. Okay, Aussie. But um, two passports? No, just the one. Mm. So how I'm how, committed. To... How many is? How long can this go for? Well, I mean, it's it's been amazing in that it's 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 been at number one for a number of years, and I think uh, every time it goes. You know, in in January, February, straight after the tennis, I sort of sit back thinking, is there still a thirst for a relationship show? Mm. And then the numbers come in, and there is. Yep. So I mean, I think you know, if if we get you know five more years out of it, uh, it'd be fantastic. Do you ride the numbers hard, Johnny? I mean, we look. At, I mean, yeah, we look yeah. at them because, like any network, you know, those, those first quarter, you, I mean, we're in a great position because we come off the back of the Aussie Open. Yeah. You know, and so you've got all those numbers, and then it feeds straight into maths, which goes for ten weeks, and so you've you've really uh, made an impact in that first quarter. So we we watch them closely. What What do you think about some of the girls that come on, knowing they just want to become famous? Well, they all <coughs> want to be famous. Put me off. And boys, Brian. Yeah, but the OnlyFans sort of yeah, stuff. Yeah, no, they do. All... They have to sign contracts to say, "I'll be on maths, but I won't go on OnlyFans for." X amount of time. I don't Was know. Was there, there any in their contracts? I, I don't know exactly uh, what they're allowed to do post the show. But what I would say is that all of them now know that if you come on our show, you can change your life. Yes. And uh, so how you do you know the a lot of money. How do you know the real ones? Who's, who's only there for the real? Well, I think I've got to the point now where I know that pretty much everyone that's on this show has a part of them that likes the spotlight. Really? Yeah. So, well, so is that one hundred percent of them? I, I think, all, because you wouldn't go on the show if you didn't want cameras on you twenty four seven for ten weeks. But what about Collins, our man here, who's yeah, yeah. he's porked, but he has no relationship? <laughs> Do you think when you saw him come on, did you go? Are you sometimes thinking, oh, I'm going to help this bloke find a relationship, but really, I know he's good talent, or? No, well, you're thinking. Well, they're, what they're are you th what's your first you're thought? Thinking they're all big personalities. They've got to be different, different backstories. Yep. You know, someone might have lost a parent, or someone had their heart broken, or someone's been cheated on ten times. So there's always different backstories, mm. which are important. Age diversity is important, and cultures, uh, and then also their personalities have got to be big enough to cope with the cameras, right? Because basically, from the time you get up in the morning to the time you go to bed, it, it's on. You can't get you can't get away from them all, and then you got these dinner parties that are hectic, and then the, the following night you got these long commitment ceremonies mm. where we're going at you, and so it's you got to be resilient, and so all of them have certain uh, elements to their personalities. That's and, and I think over the years they've got bigger and bigger. Yeah, they have the cheating scandals. They're, they're the number one. <laughs> they're the Mickey Mouse. Well, everyone's you know they all watch that. Uh, yeah, Brian, the I reunion, the reunion is where it's at, and that's coming up. Two part episode starts Sunday at seven o'clock. Yeah. Includes Monday at seven thirty. You can catch yeah. it all on Channel Nine and Nine now. Um, That's one of my favourite stuff. episodes too. The because, one coming up. Yeah, because what happens is if you've misbehaved on the show, <laughs> you will have denied it because you're thinking, well, you know, yes, are they mm. going to really show that? And you you show bet it. we are. Yeah. Yes. And so that final reunion episode, we sit there and say, all right, anything happened between you two? No, absolutely nothing. Let's take a look back at your journey, shall <laughs> yeah. we, on the show. And then you see it all unfold. No captain's challenge there, Brian. No. no. Uh, and what about you, John? You're, you're a bona fide uh, celebrity. Have you been asked to go on any celebrity shows? Like, I'm a celebrity, uh, get me out of here. No. Dancing I did, on ice. I tell you what I did do the other day was Andy Lee, the 100. Oh, oh, yeah. You'd be good at that, though. Well, it was it was exciting. You're only up against Sophie, too, aren't you? Like, you'd well, she Sophie. wasn't on. It was... <laughs> it was uh, 
uh, Kate Lambrook and a couple of oh, others. Oh, she's pretty good. But what I realised was uh, when I stood there in front of the live audience, there's four comedians up here and then there's me. Yeah. And I'm kind of the straight guy who's the punching bag. Yeah. And I thought, well, oh, this is going to get me out of my comfort zone. But it was, it was sure a hell good. of a good time. Well, hopefully we kept you in your comfort zone here and you're oh, welcome here great. anytime. John Aiken. Maths, he is Maths, Brian. He Channel is nine, maths. nine now. I hope we pulled the curtain back. We oh, have. We've pulled it back. Who was your favourite? Who was your favourite couple? Oh, look, I tell you what, I, I loved Lauren. Lauren yeah. had a couple of great one-liners. Yeah, she went strong and hard. You need that, John Aiken. Oh, Ridge. Hey. Oh, Ridge. Don't you, Ridgey? Oh, Ridge. <laughs> you like Collins? <laughs> Thank you, John. <laughs>